continuous struggle and determination to achieve better results lead to the ultimate glory. Once you are at the pinnacle of your chosen path, the next step is to maintain your success. One company is currently relishing this sort of achievement, and it is none other than Tesla, headed by Elon Musk. Welcome to another business automated video. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. That way, when we post more content like this, you will get notified. Now, let's get back to our main topic. Tesla is not at all complacent in its thriving times and is willing to improve its product quality. The fact that the company recently paused processing the electric car Model S and Model X makes its ambitions evident. The decisions were implemented in the Fremont factory, and currently the showrooms in many a city, Stanford and Century City for instance, are no longer featuring either vehicle. Furthermore, you can no longer avail yourself of the opportunity to test drive either Model S or Model X. Interestingly enough, but the skateboard version of Model S, never a rare sight in most, if not all of the showrooms, has also been withdrawn and taken back to the company manufacturing sites. The news about Tesla's Model S and Model X has taken the electric car enthusiasts by storm. Many speculations about the company bringing changes to these models can be heard and seen online. Many believe that Tesla wants to refresh the models with new features to improve the user experience and vehicle's performance. Tesla Model S and Model X have long been languishing under the shadow of Model 3 and Model Y. Therefore, the company focused more on improving its leading products and left these two models neglected. At the moment, the technology used in those vehicles is old and outdated, to say the least. 18650 battery cells are currently utilized by Tesla in these vehicles. These cells were used in the company's products a decade ago, especially in the Tesla Roadster. It is expected that the company will bring forth some developments in the battery system. The company's focus lies in cutting costs for new batteries. Elon Musk already ordered his employees to reduce the production expenses. This might have provided them with a relatively cheap alternative to the currently in use 18650 battery cells. Probably the company will switch to 2170 cells that are being utilized in Model 3. Model Y is currently using 4680 battery cells, but they are far more expensive. Another feature that has recently been introduced to Model Y is the third row seats. The buyer can opt for them by paying an extra $3,000. The additional seats are up for grabs in the long range and standard range vehicles. A user who purchased the Model Y with additional seats confirmed that the extra seats might not be suitable to adults taller than 5 feet and 8 inches. He further added that families with young kids would find it beneficial to have their kids seated in the back seats. Tall people will have to opt for the front two rows, as the rather cramped space in the back might prove to be a problem. Additionally, the back seats lack latch attachments and the vents. This means that climate control for the back seats can only be possible for the first two rows vents. Passengers in the third row can only hope to get some respite by turning off air recirculation. The upgrades do not end here. Recently, the company announced on its website that they are bringing in the solar inverter. The Tesla website stated that the solar inverter would act just as the self-sufficient solar system installed at one's home. It will be converting the direct current power from the solar plates to alternative current power that can be used to charge the batteries. The solar inverter will include extensive safety features and will be easier to install as compared to its counterparts. After the installation, the users will be provided with an app. The app will help in the smooth monitoring and functioning of the solar inverter. It will also measure the energy consumed and available in the solar batteries. The inverter is currently available in two variants. The 3.8 kilowatt one will provide the users with two maximum power point trackers. The 7.6 kilowatt one will be coming with four maximum power point trackers. Dimension-wise, a solar inverter will be 26 inches in height, 16 inches in width, and 6 inches in depth. Moreover, it will be possible to have it installed outdoors since its working temperature range falls in between minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. The efficiency, durability, and reliability will be enhanced by using the inbuilt Powerwall 2 technology. The solar inverter will work further in integrating the Tesla Powerwall and Tesla app. It will also supply Wi-Fi and cellular connectivity to its users, which will keep them alert with all the updates. Tesla has claimed that the efficiency of the inverter will be 97.5%. These numbers are vague 
as they do not clarify if it's the overall efficiency or the California Energy Commission's weight ratings. There are more efficient systems available in the market, but Tesla is renowned for delivering high-quality products. The product, with 12.5 years of warranty, will surely attract the customers. Even after all these measures, which Tesla has taken in recent times, their future in Europe has not been as promising as they would have hoped it to be. Tesla gained prominent ground in Europe at the beginning of 2020, and its vehicles were best-selling throughout the continent. Elon Musk earlier hoped for similar results and stated that he would like other companies to follow Tesla's lead. However, things have gone in the other direction ever since the most prominent event of 2020 actually occurred in Europe. In terms of electric vehicle sales, Europe has now become the biggest market in the world. The continent has overtaken China and currently the sales volume up to two times that of China and five times that of the United States. The electric car registrations in Europe increased by 198% in 2020, but overall, the general car sales fell by 14%. Electric vehicles now account for 5.4% of the total market shares. Tesla enjoyed its fair share of success in Europe when its sales grew exponentially in 2019. Picking in October, the company was able to maintain the numbers until January of 2020. In February 2020, however, the sales started to decline for Tesla, and the reverse happened for its competitors. Car-making companies like Nissan, Mitsubishi, and Renault formed an alliance to compete with Tesla, and the alliance overtook Elon Musk's company in August of 2020. During the same period, Volkswagen introduced its Volkswagen ID3 to the market, and their sales surged past Tesla in no time. A comprehensive look at Europe's case showed that Tesla managed to sell 96,000 vehicles in 2020. During the same period, Kia sold 95,000 cars and stood neck-to-neck -neck in competition with Tesla. The alliance, formed by Nissan, Mitsubishi and Renault, sold 135,000 vehicles. The market leader was clearly Volkswagen, the company that ended up selling 172,000 electric cars throughout 2020. Tesla is currently focused on improving its sales in Europe. The Gigafactory in Berlin will boost the sales up for the company. Already, Tesla saw a remarkable increase in its annual car delivered during 2020 when Giga Shanghai, based in China, contributed 145,000 vehicles to the market. At the moment, Tesla stocks are priced at $845 each, and it is estimated that they could go as high as $950. Some believe that they can touch the $1,250 figure too. Over the course of the next two years, Tesla Giga Shanghai will provide 40% of the total sales by Tesla. Experts are also of the opinion that most of the better developments will come from the Giga Shanghai. Tesla is facing competition from more than 150 electric car makers, and the only thing which they cannot afford at the moment is complacency. The Model 3, alongside with Model Y, have been significant hits for Tesla and its most advertised products. With the company's shifting focus to other products, it can also be expected that the Model S and Model X will be contributing to the sales too. Products like Tesla Semi-Truck, Cybertruck, and the $25,000 vehicle will take Tesla to new heights. Volkswagen saw a boost in its sales when they launched Volkswagen ID3. Tesla can provide something new to the public to recapture their trust and continue to build a legacy. 2021 is going to be a make it or break it year for Tesla. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. You can also go to our Business Automated channel profile to see if we have posted another video update on this topic. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you on another Business Automated video.